It's no secret that the world's population is rising at an unprecedented rate. According to reports, it surpassed 8 billion in November 2022. As a result of this explosive growth, several cities and regions have become densely populated. This has led to a lot of social and economic problems. But on the other hand, the expanding population has also fueled people's creativity, who have now resorted to stacking houses like Jenga blocks and constructing sky-high structures to accommodate as many people as possible. Today, we're going to take a trip around the world and check out 15 of the most densely populated places on our planet. 15. Guangzhou, China Guangzhou is a dynamic and busy southern Chinese metropolis. It boasts a population of about 15 million people, and more than 8.5 million people live just in the metropolitan region making it one of the world's most populated cities. To make room for their citizens, they built beautiful skyscrapers, which make it look as if this city is from the future. One of these skyscrapers, the Canton Tower, stands 600 meters above the ground. Guangzhou's population expanded quickly when it became a major Chinese commercial center. Several businesses have drawn millions of individuals from all over the world to the city. Despite being packed in a surface area of 7,434 square kilometers, they still had room to make many tourist attractions, such as the Guangzhou Opera House, a spectacular architectural marvel the Chen Clan Ancestral Hall, a well-preserved example of traditional Cantonese architecture, and Xiamyan Island, which is a fascinating historical neighborhood with European-style structures. A huge population also means more traffic. That's why the city has made significant investments in public transportation, including the world's biggest bus rapid transit system and an extensive metro network. 14. Dharavi Slums India. Dharavi Slum is located in the heart of Mumbai, India. It covers an area of around 2.39 square kilometers, and almost 1 million people live there in overcrowded and unhygienic circumstances. Despite the difficult living conditions, Dharavi is a thriving community with its own business and culture. The slum is a network of small pathways and improvised structures in which people live in confined quarters, with no access to basic amenities such as clean water and appropriate sanitation. Despite this, Dharavi inhabitants have formed a strong sense of community and establish their own companies and industries. Dharavi is well known for its vibrant informal sector, which includes recycling, leather tanning, and pottery production. Each year, these sectors generate millions of dollars in sales and employ thousands of people. Dharavi has also been the topic of considerable discussion and controversy. Some authoritative figures have proposed redevelopment, while others are pressing for its preservation as a cultural and economic powerhouse. Several films and documentaries have portrayed Dharavi, shedding light on the problems and intricacies of living in a mega slum. 13. Mong Kok Kowloon, Hong Kong Mong Kok is a dynamic and bustling area in Hong Kong's Kowloon Peninsula. The Guinness World Records labeled Mong Kok as the busiest neighborhood in the world due to its exceptionally high population density of just 130,000 square kilometers. It is home to a number of marketplaces, including the well-known Ladies Market, where you can buy anything from apparel to souvenirs to gadgets. The Flower Market, Goldfish Market, and Bird Market are also among the prominent marketplaces in Mong Kok. Mong Kok is also famous for its street food, with stalls selling anything from skewers to dim cuisine to egg waffles. There are also several restaurants and cafes in the region that appeal to a variety of tastes and budgets. Mong Kok comes alive after sunset with a bustling nightlife. There are several pubs, clubs, and karaoke lounges in the region, drawing both residents and visitors. Despite its prominence and overcrowded environment, Mong Kok has retained its charm. Its tiny lanes and alleyways are adorned with historic shop houses and neon signs, creating a distinct aura of ambience. Mong Kok is a must-see district for anybody visiting Hong Kong. 12. Santa Cruz de Ayote, Colombia Santa Cruz de Ayote is a tiny island off the coast of Colombia in the San Bernardo archipelago. Despite its small size, the island has over 1,200 inhabitants, making it one of the most densely populated places on the planet. The island is only 0.01 square kilometers in size and has no automobiles, hotels, or paved roads. Santa Cruz de Ayote boasts a dynamic community 
and a rich culture. Despite its isolated position and lack of contemporary facilities, the residents make their livelihood via fishing and tourism, and visitors come to experience the island's distinctive way of life. There is a tiny school, a church, and a community center on the island, where inhabitants mingle and engage in community events. The island also has a tiny football pitch, which acts as a gathering area for young people and a source of entertainment for the community. The island's isolated position and lack of modern conveniences have also helped to ensure its survival. The islanders value their environment and have rigorous restrictions in place to safeguard their natural resources. 11. Rokina Favea, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil When we think of Brazil, we instantly think of favelas and football. Racinha is a huge favela in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, with a population of approximately 70,000 people. The favela is notorious for its colorful culture, street art, football, and magnificent vistas set on a steep slope above the city. Racinha also has a variety of social and cultural groups that seek to offer education, healthcare, and other community services. There are several small enterprises and street sellers in the favela, which provide the locals with job options. Racinha is quite famous for its poverty and socioeconomic injustice, despite its beauty. The favela lacks essential infrastructure like running water and sewage systems, and many of its people live in cramped circumstances. Racinha's relationship with the local government and police is complicated. The favela is known for its violent environment and drug trafficking problem. It is said that the police use inhumane methods to reduce crime in the favela. However, even with these difficulties, the Racinha community is close-knit and powerful, with a strong sense of identity and pride. 10. Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh, India Vijayawada is a city in India's southern state of Andhra Pradesh. It is noted for its rich history, vibrant culture, and scenic beauty. With a population of 1,723,000, it is Andhra Pradesh's second largest city. The city has a rich and illustrious history that dates back to ancient South Indian Kingdom. It is now a thriving commercial area, as well as a hub for education, technology, and industry. The Kanaka Durga Temple, a Hindu shrine devoted to the Hindu goddess Durga, is one of the city's most renowned attractions. Every year, hundreds of pilgrims visit the temple. Vijayawada is also recognized for its delicious food, which combines traditional Andhra and Telugu delicacies with a cosmopolitan fare. There are various restaurants, cafes, and street food sellers throughout the city that serve a broad range of delicious and reasonably priced meals. The city is surrounded by stunning natural scenery, including the Krishna River, the Indra Kaladri Hills, and the Kandapilli Fort. Tourists may enjoy a leisurely boat trip along the river, or visit the hills and fort which provide breathtaking views of the surrounding area. 9. Kibera, Kenya Kibera, one of Africa's largest slums, is located in Nairobi, Kenya. Kibera is a Nairobi neighborhood with a population of over 1 million people who are scattered across only 2.5 square kilometers. It is considered the world's second largest shantytown. As soon as you begin walking through Kabira's slums, you'll find yourself surrounded by dozens of youngsters who can speak great English. Getting a solid education is one of the essential pillars for each Kenyan, and Kibera is no different. Every child speaks great English and attends school till they are adults. Despite being educated, poverty is visible around every turn. The unemployment rate is over 80%. Early 20% of the population has access to power, and basic sanitation facilities are almost non-existent. A big road passes through the center and serves as the social hub. The residential sector consists of hundreds of shacks built in no apparent order and forms a maze of streets and lanes. There is a lot of garbage around, and the sanitation is terrible. However, people dancing to African music can be seen on every street. 8. Malabon Philippines. Malabon is a landlocked city that is highly urbanized. The population density is calculated to be 24,222 people per square kilometer. Malabon is well known for its rich cultural past and distinctive cuisine, making it a popular tourist and local attraction. The city's history may be traced back to pre-colonial times, when it was a fishing community along Manila Bay shore. Despite being highly urbanized, it still has a lot to offer. The Malabon City Hall, located in the city's core, is one of the city's most renowned landmarks. And so is the San Bartolome Church, which was built in the 17th century. Malabon is also well known for its cuisine, 
especially its seafood specialties. The Pan Chit Malabon, a type of noodle dish topped with shrimp, squid, and hard-boiled eggs, and the crispy pata, is one of the most popular local foods. The city is particularly well-known for its delicacies like bibinka and puto, both of which are popular during the Christmas season. 7. Malay Islands – Maldives Maldives is a country that is made up of several islands. However, the island of Malay is not only the capital, but also the most populated island of the Republic of Maldives. Malay Island is about 1.7 square kilometers in size, making it one of the world's tiniest capital cities. Malay Island, despite its tiny size, is a lively metropolis with a population of over 150,000 people and serves as the Maldives' political, commercial, and cultural center. Don't be fooled by its tiny size, as it has so much to offer. The architecture of the island reflects its past, with many old buildings and mosques dotting the city streets. The Hukuru Miski Mosque dates back to the 17th century and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Water sports and activities like snorkeling, diving, and surfing are also available to visitors, with the island's pristine seas and coral reefs providing a fantastic underwater experience. 6. Marine Lines – India Yep, we're back in India. Marine Lines is a densely populated suburb located in Mumbai's southern outskirts. Marine Lines has a population density of roughly 96,000 people per square kilometer, making it one of Mumbai's most densely inhabited districts. The neighborhood is well known for its distinctive marine drive, a wide promenade that bends down the coast and provides breathtaking views of the sea and city skyline. Marine Lines is one of Mumbai's oldest and most historic areas, including a variety of significant structures and organizations. Marine Drive, the neighborhood's principal road, is commonly referred to as the Queen's Necklace due to the streetlights, which sparkle like diamonds at night. This area also has the most historic and viral railroad station. Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus is one of India's busiest train stations, with thousands of passengers boarding each day. Marine Lines is also known for its lively street life, with merchants offering anything from coffee and snacks to handmade crafts and jewelry. The neighborhood is ideal for shopping for traditional Indian handicrafts and trinkets, as well as sampling the city's famed street food. Subscribers pick. Before we move along, take a moment to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications so you're the first to hear about our upcoming videos. And now it's time for the subscriber pick. This mind-blowing picture of a massive building recently went viral online. To us, it looks like a residential structure with hundreds if not thousands of units. There must be tons of people living in the building. Do you have any idea where it's located? Tell us what you know in the comments below using the hashtag, hashtag subscriberspick. And now, on to the next topic. 5. Jamestown Neighborhood, Canada Jamestown is a diverse and bustling area in downtown Toronto, Canada. The neighborhood is well known for its diverse cultural background, vibrant community, and inexpensive housing alternatives. The area began as a public housing project for the city's middle class in the 1950s and 60s, but immigrants from all over the world flocked here to make a fresh start. There are 17,000 individuals living within a 0.09 square mile radius, and the residential area has grown into a vibrant community with a variety of housing styles, including apartments, townhouses, and single-family homes. Some people argue that the area doesn't have enough space to accommodate more people. The neighborhood is also located in close proximity to many of Toronto's major attractions and amenities, including parks, museums, and shopping centers. The cultural diversity of the area is reflected in its dynamic street life, which is characterized by a mix of restaurants, stores, and marketplaces, offering foods and goods from across the world. 4. Magingo Island Lake Victoria Magingo Island is a tiny rocky island in Lake Victoria, near the Kenya-Uganda border. Despite its small size, the island has sparked tremendous debate and interest due to its high population density. The island is just 0.49 acres in size and is densely inhabited, with up to 500 individuals living on the island at any given time. The bulk of the island's residents are fishermen who live in very small shacks and rely on fishing for their livelihood. Magingo Island's ownership is disputed between Kenya and Uganda, with both governments claiming possession. The disagreement stretches back to the colonial era. Despite the conflict, inhabitants of Magingo Island go about their daily lives without running water and power. The residents are forced to rely on generators and collect rainwater to meet their basic necessities. The island is also overcrowded with little room for additional homes or infrastructure. 3. Tin Shui Wai 
in the Wenlong District, Hong Kong. Tin Shui Wai is a large public housing estate in Hong Kong's Yuanlong District. The neighborhood was created in late 1990s and early 2000s to offer inexpensive accommodation to Hong Kong's rising population, and it has since grown to become one of the city's most populous residential zones. Tin Shui Wai has a population of over 300,000 people, making it one of Hong Kong's most densely inhabited neighborhoods. The majority of the residents are low-income families, many of whom live in the high-rise apartment complexes in the region. This district, despite its vast population, has faced a variety of social and economic challenges throughout the years. The neighborhood is known for being remote and devoid of services, with limited access to transportation, healthcare, and educational resources. The Hong Kong government has made attempts to resolve these concerns in recent years by investing in infrastructure and community development initiatives. Despite these attempts, Tin Shui Wai continues to confront poverty, social isolation, and the lack of resources. Besides its limitations, it remains an important affordable housing location for the middle class of Hong Kong, Manila. Philippines. Manila is located on the eastern bank of Manila Bay. It is one of the most populated cities in the world, with a population of about 1.7 million people. Even though the city is divided into 16 districts, each square mile has around 120,000 people. The city offers its tourists a variety of attractions, from Spanish colonial architecture to modern skyscrapers. The city is famous for its colorful street life, old buildings, and bustling marketplaces, as well as its cultural legacy. It also has a number of prestigious colleges, museums, and cultural organizations. People flock to Manila, as it has become a cultural and educational hub in the Philippines. Despite its many advantages, Manila has a number of population growth and urbanization-related challenges. Overcrowding, transportation congestion, and environmental issues have resulted from the city's tremendous population growth. To address these concerns, the municipal administration has launched a series of programs targeting the infrastructure and citizen services. They include building new public transit networks, expanding healthcare and education facilities, and promoting sustainable development and green places. 1. Dhaka, Bangladesh Dhaka, Bangladesh's capital and largest city, is located on the banks of the Buriganga River. It is one of the world's fastest growing cities, with a population of 21 million people, making it the world's most densely inhabited city. The city's population is expected to rise at a pace of roughly 4.2% each year. Dhaka has a rich cultural past reaching back to the 7th century. It was the capital of the Mughal Empire's Bengal province and has since been a regional, commercial, and cultural center. Many mosques, temples, museums, and other structures depict the city's rich history and diverse culture. Dhaka has an astounding population density of approximately 47,000 people per square kilometer. The city's infrastructure is struggling to keep up with the population expansion, resulting in packed streets, poor air quality, and a lack of access to essential amenities such as clean water and sanitation. Despite the difficulties, Dhaka remains a dynamic city. There is also a vibrant cultural scene in the city, with theaters, music venues, and art galleries presenting the best of Bangladesh's artistic ability. Well, folks, we've just taken a tour of the world's most densely populated places, and it's easy to conclude that personal space is a luxury we all take for granted. With the rapidly growing population in the places we discussed, authorities should be doing all they can to improve life quality and provide all the basic amenities to the residents. Otherwise, this overpopulation can lead to the development of some unmanageable problems in the future.